What is this stupid looking thing? Oh, cool. It's like a electric little bus. E green? Anyway. Yeah, it's Ryan living in Cambodia making videos so you can see what it's like to live in the kingdom of wonder. And it's Monday morning. I'm hitting up the market as I usually do. Uh, buying some veg, some fruit for the week. Look at this, this is really cool. Fresh sausage that they've made. Usually you see it pre-cooked, like smoked. This is raw, which is kind of good. So you can grill it up. I'm not actually a huge fan of their sausage. So today I am looking for a specific thing. I'm looking for krong. Krong. It, it means paste. It's used to refer to, I think about five different types of pastes that they use for cooking. Hello. Bye. People often make their own, but I think we should be able to find a pre-pounded paste in here. There's a lot of good vegetables in here. I'm gonna try something new. I want to get this paste. I'm gonna smear it around some vegetables and uh, roast them. So obviously not a traditional thing, but ah, here we go. This lady has them. Yes, so that, my friends, is krong. Krong. There are about five different kinds, but these are like the basic kinds, with red, green, yellow. Wow, look at that. Some big, rooty uh, leeks, I think. Usually they use krong for soups and they'll use it for the beef lemongrass skewers if you've ever had that. that they just marinate the beef in that. So it's a multi-purpose thing just like any other paste. But Hello. Hello. This lady's got some here too and she's got a big thick that looks to me like galangal. It's one of the ingredients. Okay, this is krong. Krong? Krong. It's a, this has this, this, uh, this, the same as this. Does it have chili? Yeah? Mate. And the, the kafur leaf as well, yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, can I, like, muy dala? Yeah. Muy dollar. Yeah? For me. Thank man. Yeah. Thank you the lot. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, a dollar of pace gets you. Oh wow, that's a lot. <laughs> oh. It looks like she's giving me a lot of extra goodies in here. I'm not really sure why. Let's go find some vegetables, some good roasting vegetables. I'm thinking like sweet potatoes and regular potatoes maybe. Um, and carrots and maybe some of these white, I don't know what they are. White carrots, parsnips, no not parsnips, they're turnips. Yeah. Let's get one of these. Why not? Um, sweet potato. Beauty. Okay, let's get some taters. Boy, taters. Looks pretty good. Yeah. I like this little stick method. All right, all those vegetables. How much you guys think it's gonna cost? I'm saying. Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just a little, little, little. Two. Three. Okay, <laughs> perfect. All right, cool, I was dead on. See how smart I am? And now I'm just gonna get some fruit, and then we'll go home and roast these up. So stay tuned, we're gonna be back. Okay, back at IFHQ, and I've already chopped up my vegetables. Decided to not put the broccoli on, there's a lot here. 
Um, so we've got some onions, some potatoes, some sweet potato, carrot, and uh, turnip. Look at that. So let's start adding the krong and mixing it up and just just coating everything in it. Typically a yellow karong is made with lemongrass, chili, turmeric, garlic, shallots, and galangal. Galangal is often compared to ginger, but it's actually pretty different. It's more citrusy, it's kind of peppery, and it's earthier than ginger. Karong also sometimes contains kefir, which is a type of lime, but unlike most limes, you don't really use the juice for consumption. It's too tart and bitter. Instead, the leaves and the rind are used to add a floral lime flavor. All these ingredients, with the exception of chilies, are native to Cambodia. They've been used in their cuisine for thousands of years. All that turmeric in there, it's gonna stain the shit out of everything. If you've had dishes like fish amok, or there's some soups, some lam chukru, that would use this, um, usually they combine it with coconut milk, coconut water, coconut cream, whatever. Bought this velvet coconut milk drink, unsweetened, plant-based calcium dairy-free from Thai coconuts. I'm gonna put a splash in there like that. Whoa, that's a lot. I am such an idiot, I almost forgot to add the oil. I gotta have some olive oil on there to help it. It's hard to cook, especially when you gotta babysit the viewers. Those fing viewers, I'm gonna fing punch them in their fing faces when I see them. Just kidding! Okay, now we just pop this in the oven and we'll roast it for about 30 minutes. We'll check on it. Stuff. I know what I'm doing, I know what I'm doing. So. Smells fantastic. Everything's charring up nicely. It's pretty good. I think probably done. All right, pull that out of the oven. Everything's cooked up nicely. Looks pretty good. Let's try a piece out. Let's go with some turnip, some carrot, and some potato. Let's try this out. Pretty good. Mm. Good combination. So I would say it's a success. I would say it's a success. I would say it's a success. I would say I would say it's a success. I would say it's a success. One thing I love about living in a foreign country is experimenting with the local food. Something like oh, that's still hot. Something like this krong is available in every market. It's so cheap. You saw how much I got for a dollar. I don't really have a desire to like learn how to cook Khmer food because I can get Khmer food here and they're going to make it way better than I'm going to make it. But I like the idea of taking local ingredients and adapting them, using them different ways, like a roast vegetable, which they wouldn't do here because they don't roast vegetables really. That's why I wanted to try it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will put together a nice little lunch for myself now. We'll see you on Friday with a new video. Sarah and I, we went out on a bit of an adventure. We went costume shopping in Phnom Penh. We had a costume party to go to, so we put together some costumes that were pretty fun. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up on Friday. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, comb your hair. I'm out. Before I wanna buy myself, I don't wanna hang around y'all. Good health, one day I'm really gonna ball. Fuck around and buy the whole mall. Breaking that cake, flexing 700 in the bank. Not a superhero, I don't save. Look at my face, look at my grace. Don't match up, no love, fuck a date. I just fade. When I hit the jack, you can get the pie. Every night I gamble, I stop. Yeah, when I check the cost, I was like, oh, that's expensive.